Is Canada study visa possible after five refusals? People who follow me, they know that it is very much possible with the immigration gurus. We have made it possible again for Ashu. He has recently got his uh, Canada study visa after five refusals, after changing his program. So uh, first, initially he applied for software development program, then three times uh, took, he got two refusals in that program. Then he applied for project management, got three refusals, and finally got his visa. So let me share the entire story uh, of his case. And this is quite interesting because uh, his age is 38 right now, five refusals, and then he got his visa. And he is in this journey of immigration to Canada uh, since like since his age was 31, 32, something like that, seven, eight years. And in study visa, he is uh, trying this visa for last three years. So it's been a long journey for him and really tiring. Finally, he is getting his visa and he was really emotional when he called me recently, uh, today only, and uh, he shared his story. Uh, he was not really comfortable uh, uh, to share his full name and the story as well because he's right now working somewhere and he doesn't, doesn't want uh, uh, the entire thing to go out and his company uh, knows about it. So he's not comfortable with that. So that's why he's not making his story. But whatever he shared with me, so I'm sharing his emotion with you. So he was really emotional about this visa and his wife as well. So uh, he's going to travel for his uh, uh, classes in August. And classes will be in September, Algoma Industry Project Management Program. And uh, hopefully we are going to apply for uh, uh, his wife and daughter now. And uh, they will be traveling with him only. So uh, that's how we are going to process uh, his visa now. Uh, let me share the screen and uh, share his uh, entire profile with you. Just give me a second. Yeah. Yeah, hopefully you are able to see it. So uh, this is Ashu's profile. And... Uh, he is working. I am not sharing the name of the company because uh, uh, he doesn't want uh, his company to be kind of know about his visa uh, because he is still working full time and isn't. He doesn't want to leave his job until unless he is traveling to Canada. So uh, that's why I am not sharing the name. So he is working in IT field basically, test automation uh, architect. Earlier as well, he's he's he has worked as a software engineer. So since 2006, he is uh, working in this particular field, a lot of experience, so like 17 years of experience till now he is having in this particular field. And he has got visa for Algoma University Project Management Program. And uh, this is his uh, uh, education. So he has completed his BA, Bachelor of Arts degree uh, from Punjab University, Chandigarh uh, in 2006. 2015, he completed his MCA uh, from uh, uh, PTU and uh, uh, it's a master's degree in computer application and uh, he's working in IT field since his his job, uh, since his uh, uh, bachelor's degree. Uh, people ask me one more thing uh, here is, uh, which is uh, maybe out of context here, but people ask me uh, after BA, can we show our experience in IT? After uh, uh, having kind of BCom degree, can we go in some other field in sales or something? So even after having some kind of degree doesn't mean that you need to stay in that particular field only uh, to do your job. It, it is uh, it can be irrelevant as well. Let me give you an example for that. And I give this example to everyone. Uh, so people, uh, there are companies like Infosys and TCS. These companies hire any kind of engineers, whether it is mechanical, civil, uh, biotechnology, any kind of IT, uh, any, any kind of engineers, they hire everyone and they give them the position IT software engineer. So uh, a civil engineer doesn't have any background of IT and they are going for IT field. So uh, how, how they are working in uh, as IT software engineer. So these companies train them and they are hiding them as freshers. They are training them and they are uh, working uh, with them uh, as IT software engineer. So uh, these, these things can happen and it's not a problem. So don't worry about what kind of job profile you are showing after your uh, uh, previous uh, education, your education can be completely different and you may be working in different profile as well. It is uh, highly possible. So don't worry about your job profile. It can be different and uh, uh, don't be hesitant in showing that job profile. But just you need to remember that whenever you are applying for your visa, uh, study visa in that case, you need to apply for an appropriate program based on your experience, not based on your uh, degree. So degree is irrelevant now. Your experience is everything. So uh, just uh, apply for your program based on the experience. Ashu made a mistake here uh, by taking a software engineering program 
the mistake is because he has already completed master of computer application so it is a master's degree in computer science so you cannot go for a pg diploma after completing a master's in computer science program so this this degree after having this degree going for a pg diploma in technical field is suicidal i don't recommend it also having an experience of kind of uh, uh, he, he has experience of more than i guess 15 years right now and after having 15 years of experience in IT, if you are going for a technical program, it is highly suicidal. I don't recommend to go for it. I always recommend to go for a project management program or MBA. If you haven't done MBA, then you can go for MBA as well. Or project management is, is a super program that can get you a visa. So uh, it is my uh, recommendation that you should go for a management program after having experience. If you are a recent pass out, have small experience, then you can go for technical program as well. But you have... Uh, if you are a mature student and if you have good amount of experience in that case, always, always, always try to go for a management program because it can make you manager directly and it is going to help you in getting study visa as well. This is his uh, IELTS score. So IELTS score is 6.5. That is quite no normal. And uh, his age is right now 38. So you can find the age from date of birth. And uh, this is his Algoma University uh, offer letter. First, uh, he got his offer letter for January intake. And uh, then it got deferred to May intake uh, when we applied for his first application. Uh, then he got his refusal as well. So uh, let me share the refusal history. First two applications he applied with one agent for software engineering program or software development program. So two refusals he got from that agent, and uh, uh, that was uh, that was with the uh, those were with the project uh, sorry uh, software development program. Another two refusals from one more agent. Those were uh, for Algoma University project manager program with uh, in Salt Mary campus. So uh, two plus two, four refusals. Then we shifted, then we got change of agent and uh, he came to me and uh, uh, he got shifted to uh, Brampton campus. So Algoma University, Brampton campus, project management. So fifth application I applied, he got refusal in January. Then we applied again for him. Sixth application, he got his visa finally for Algoma University project management, Brampton campus and uh, after having this these many uh, uh, refusals so uh, he got four refusals from someone else and one refusal from me and finally we got uh, his visa uh, these are his case notes uh, for previous uh, refusal for uh, uh, algoma university project management and again People after seeing the caps notes, they see they say that it is written in the caps notes uh, that this program is irrelevant, blah 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 blah, and how we are going to get visa with this particular program. See, it is written in the caps notes that this program is not for me. Just just see the profile again. This is the caps notes for uh, project management at, Alg at Algoma University. This is mentioned that uh, you are going for Algoma University project management, and just read these lines. These are quite common lines. You cannot uh, take your decision based on these lines. So. After review all the information, PA, previous uh, employment and education history, their motivation to pursue studies in Canada, Canada at this point uh, seems uh, not seem reasonable. Study plan submitted is general and does not outline uh, uh, career path. So uh, th this is this is not a good option for him. So uh, this is mentioned here. Given the previous uh, uh, academic education history, blah 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 blah, uh, this is not a good option for you and application review. So. Even if these this kind of lines are written, even if it is written that uh, your academic performance is not good, all those type of things, even if those kind of things are written in caps notes, just ignore them. If you feel and if you know that your program is right, your university is right, and your SOP documentation, everything is right, in that case, stay with the application, you are going to get your visa. So he got three refusals from Algoma University Project Management. Still, we reapplied and he got visa from there only. So I have so many cases where in each case, I have to discuss it separately uh, that uh, whether this program is right for me or not, whether we should change the program or not. So this is a routine for me when whenever someone gets refusal, I need to discuss this thing again and again and again. So uh, this is just to make you uh, clear that uh, uh, even if there are 100 refusals from a right program, right university, uh, right SOP and documentation, you need not to change it. And also people ask me about SOP. I didn't change anything for him in the uh, fifth application and sixth application. So I applied two times for him in both the applications. Uh, the entire SOP was same, documentation was same. So uh, this is again one more thing people ask me, uh, what changes are you are going to make in SOP? I don't have anything to change once I make my first SOP. 
my first sop is the final draft i am having whatever i need to change in the next application there are small changes and i just write the justification on top that's it apart from that almost everything remains same in the sop if there are any changes in the financials uh, i i do change those things in the sop but in in major parts there are no changes in the sop so whatever i write in the first application it stays until I, and until unless you get visa so once i write my first sop after that it is just a waiting game when you are going to get your visa and you will get your visa for sure if uh, we are taking care of your, your application so just stay and you will get your visa i i know that if this this uh, uh, part is going to be uncertain for everyone and uh, it is different for everyone this journey is different for everyone it is not going to same for for everyone uh two friends we we know that two or three friends applying together uh to have got visa one got refusal and getting refusal again and again i have shared the story of uh, ishant bhardwaj as well and uh and nitin so nitin same same kind of profile same age everything was same uh nitin got visa in first attempt and uh, ishant got visa after four refusal so uh it this journey is going to be different for everyone but this journey is going to end for sure uh, and you are going to get uh, uh, Canada study visa. It can be different for everyone. It can be uncertain in a, each application. And we don't know when you are going to get visa, but you will definitely get visa. So uh, let me share one more thing related to refusals because people say that I'm getting refusal with the same reason again and again. This is his first, fourth refusal. He, he got the same statement here. And fifth refusal, he got the same uh, reason here. So nothing is changing in terms of... Uh, uh, uh the refusal letter so they just copy paste until unless you get visa so till the time you get visa things are going to be horrible terrible for you guys i know i understand that and you will be having 100 kind of thoughts in your mind but uh just my my advice is just don't uh, uh go on social media and discuss so many things uh reason is simple that more you listen to people more you will get uh, more kind more thoughts you are going to get from them and uh, you you will be doubtful in the next application so always stay confident and once you are on right track just keep 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 working on that track keep uh, staying and keep uh, traveling on that track and you are going to get your visa and this is final ppr so that is a blast uh, kind of uh, email or uh, uh, thing that that can happen to someone uh, today urushi also got visa she is uh, she is our employee and uh, uh, she was also crying. She was studying in, uh, uh, she started her study in India as well. Finally, she has got her visa from Laurentian University. I will try to make a video with her as well. It was a really satisfying case, Arushi, because it, it's a it's a burden on you when it is uh, someone who, who you meet routinely, who you took, who you uh, kind of talk every day. So these type of cases are a, a big burden on you. Once uh, these people get visa, then then it is really satisfying. All the all the visas are really satisfying because everyone has a journey for Canada. So Ashu is he's there in the process for seven eight years, and uh, uh, people are there who are in journey for three years, four years, five years. So it's a journey for everyone. I know I understand that. But if your case is mature, in that case, yes, it can take some time, but it will definitely come. Visa will definitely come. So. I am not leaving any any of the people who are getting refusals, and there are many people who are uh, getting visas every day. Every day people are getting visa. I am uh, writing the names, uh, unable to uh, make videos for everyone. But whenever I get time, whenever it is like whenever share, someone share the story, and I quickly uh, I am able to open all these files quickly. So I try to make the video as soon as possible. So it happens. Uh, uh means if everything is right then i'm able to make video but uh, uh, now i'm making a routine that i am going to make at least three videos every week uh for visas only so i'll try to uh, find out the best three visas for 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 whom i'm going to make videos uh rest i'm making uh, uh the videos other videos in routine so i'm going to make it a routine to make videos of the visas as well so hopefully uh it is uh uh, going to add more value and uh, you'll be able to uh, get more motivation from the visa and more kind of profiles you'll be able to see in future as well so thank you so much everyone who is applying with me and uh, many congratulations to to ashu and all the other people who are getting visas and uh, stay motivating and this video is for motivation as well because profile and these type of things i already shared again and again many times but this is to, to give you some motivation that 
uh, staying on the right path uh, and staying with your application will definitely get you visa. So there are many cases who are uh, in kind of uh, uh, in kind of dilemma where they, they they are unable to decide whether to apply again or not, whether they are going to get visa or not. So uh, I have already shared many stories where Shiri took uh, uh, her IELTS again and then she got her visa. So uh, these type of things also happen because IELTS become a hurdle where you see that, okay, I will just apply for the application until unless my IELTS expire. After that, I'm not going to apply. So Shri is one uh, case who got visa after uh, her IELTS got expired and then she took her IELTS again. So uh, even if there are hurdles, just clear those hurdles and you will get your visa as well. Thank you so much for everyone uh, who are believing in me and who are uh, handing over the cases to me. If to apply with me, you can ping me on my WhatsApp number 98123-8082. I'd be happy to take care of your case as well. See you in next video.